Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. It's not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not some lunar Venus sign specific. Any Sagittarius placement that resonates with you, messages may also resonate. Personal reading information will all be linked and listed at the end. We'll pull oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, here we go, Sagittarius. Your first card out is the King of Swords. Air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be important. You could have that in your chart. You also have the Three of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, Earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. The Eight of Pentacles and the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Lots of kings, lots of masculine energy. One more card for Sagittarius, please. Let's get the whole story. Could be dealing with someone at work, dealing with some sort of masculine energy here. I do see you as this Queen of Swords. Could have air in your chart. But um, this could be multiple people that you're dealing with that you're sort of just not in the mood for. Or you're choosing between multiple situations, multiple people, multiple things. And it looks like you're going towards the one that is more grounded, more stable. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So there is some sort of deception. Could also be strategy that you are using, that someone is using, people may be using. There is some sort of strategy. I do get multiple options here, either for you or someone. It looks like it's for you. You do have different avenues that you could go down. Different uh, situations that you can collaborate with, work with. People that you can collaborate with, work with. And it does look like you're finally getting to the point where you will make a decision. And some people obviously will not be happy. You can't choose everyone. But I do see here you're using some sort of strategy. You might not be telling everyone that, you know, you're looking at more than one option. You're looking at more than one option. You could have already walked away from some sort of air sign, someone that was very um, detached, cold. Also could be a lawyer getting some sort of legal advice with King of Swords, especially with the Three of Pentacles. For a lot of you, this may be work. But for a lot of you, it also is some sort of um, dating scenario. It's like um, survival of the fittest. It looks like you are going to be reaching a decision, seeing very clearly who it is you want to partner up with collaborate with this king of cups here is looking at you you're not even aware you are looking like you are looking more so towards the king of pentacles and whatever aspect that resonates with you you're redeeming this person as the most good fit for some of you this is someone that you're dealing with that has chosen you for some sort of position yeah very clear that they need to move towards you because there's some sort of deep feelings here. This person has very strong feelings towards you with the King of Cups, maybe unexpressed. This King and Queen of Swords could be the expression, a conversation that's about to happen. Solidifying things with the King of Pentacles. The Five of Cups here does tell me whoever is not being chosen will not be happy. There are people who will feel as if, you know, they got chipped. That will feel they were left out. Because it does seem like some sort of um, process of elimination going on here. With either a job or within the dating life. Someone is leaving behind, you know, a collective of things to focus in on one particular thing. King, Queen of Wands. This could also be why people are vying for your energy. You're coming up as the Queen of Wands. Very magnetic, very attractive, very creative, confident. So that's why there are multiple people vying for your attention or for your collaboration or to collaborate with you here. As I said, there are going to be some people that are upset. This is your second five. And if you have been dating one person in particular or you've already chosen a company and you've already started working for them, it does seem like you've been keeping this a secret. I am getting the moon card here, Pisces energy. With that seven of swords, it tells me you could have already made a decision and you just haven't told people yet that they weren't chosen. You've already chose, you've already made your choice. And there could be a reveal as to who this decision is, who, who you picked. And it is going to change things. It's going to change the dynamic, either with the other people. Two fives here, there are gonna be a lot of people upset. Let's get some articles and see what they have to say for you, Sagittarius. What is the guidance for Sagittarius? 444 on the clock as I looked. So there is heavy protection here, regardless of what you choose. A time for healing. I think you've already healed. Or this could speak to whoever is not getting chosen. 
Yeah, yeah, there's going to be some healing needing to be done. Because it looks like somebody will not be chosen and they're not going to be very happy about it. Not happy at all. And I, But I don't think it's you that's not being chosen. You're either the one doing the choosing or you're the one that's being chosen. Emotions are running high. I'd say so. This is a romantic relationship. What guidance do we have for Sagittarius? Pay attention to the red flags. I think that's what you've been doing secretly. With this Seven of Swords, it is giving strategy. You've low-key been sort of interviewing people without them even knowing. And it's like now you see very clearly where you need to go and what you need to leave behind. Who you don't need to choose and who you need to be choosing. King of Pentacles, someone that is actually serious, someone that you can depend on, someone that is um, a man or woman of their word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sagittarius, what is it, Pentacles for Sagittarius? Someone could also be speaking feelings too late, after you've already made a decision, after a time of not speaking. And now they're going to regret not saying anything when they could have had the chance, because now you've already moved on. You've already committed to something else, or you're already planted somewhere else, because you weren't aware that they even cared, right? Ask yourself if it will matter in 10 years from now. If it doesn't, don't sweat it. Yeah. You've moved on. Definitely you've moved on. From a person, place, or thing, situation, mindset, job, environment, community. You've now, uh, you belong to another group. You've moved to another person, group, place, you know. And it looks like the old group is like, but wait. I didn't tell you this part of the story. It's like, well, too late. I don't care. I'm on a whole new book. That answer Sagittarius, please. So I have, um, yeah, I have all the signs pretty much. Air sign, earth sign, or a water sign. Pisces in particular for water. Be at home. Yeah, you've already committed yourself elsewhere. You've already planted roots elsewhere. And I think now is the time that people are finding out. Oh, we've already done this one, haven't we? People are finding out that you've already made a choice. You've already planted roots. And there is going to be a lot of regret. That someone didn't speak up at the time they had the chance. They were moving secretive. They were trying to not tell you, and now it's too late. This also could be them reaching out. Page of Cups, and I'm also seeing the Five of Wands, which absolutely speaks of competition. Competition. We have here, align your life. What is not aligned, what needs to change? Distortion. So any sort of illusion, distortion, uh, withholding of truth is now going to be revealed. Someone is seeing things clearly. I think it's also you. You're no longer confused. If you're choosing between multiple things, you're no longer confused. But somebody won't be happy. That is your reading, Sagittarius. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.